Hey guys, Brendan C. here from BassInUSA.com. Here's our review of the new Bluetooth connected Connect Scale. Check it out. So I set up my Connect Scale, hooked into my phone. I'm going to... You can also connect your culling ropes to this um, if you want. It makes it easier sometimes for weighing these fish. So you, they have a tear function on this. And when it locks in, Okay, so that's a 291, almost a three pounder. And the phone itself will actually register that fish right there. Good. It recorded the weight. It recorded the GPS location of where I just caught that fish. I have the option to share that, or I can just send it to myself on Facebook. I can take a picture of the fish. I wanna keep it in my well. So when I hit keep, this is set up, you can either use colors or numbers. This is set up for colors. So I'm gonna select white, which is my number one. And now that just saved it as white in here. Okay, 291, that's the first fish. We put them in there and then we just continue what we're doing and we go on with our fishing. The other cool feature is the social aspect of this. I wanna take a picture of this fish. I could have my friend here take a picture. If we go back out to that fish on the main screen and select the fish itself, and there's an option to take a picture or pick from the gallery. So we're going to take a quick picture of that fish. And now I can press a button and send that to my friends on Facebook or Twitter. I can also label this fish what it was, a largemouth species. I can say this is a largemouth. I can put in all kinds of data, recorded uh, the weight of the fish, as I said. I can put in the species, it automatically captured the location and it recaptured the air temperature as well on here. And then it gives you the ability to fill in the water temperature. I go into the bait or lure I use and I can say, oh, I caught it on a top water bait and I select top water. It puts that in there and when I'm done, I hit submit. And if I want to send it to Facebook, like I said, I got the Facebook and the Twitter icon on the bottom right there at the bottom and I can send it up to Facebook or Twitter if I want. And you could choose, you can choose just to send it to yourself. You can send it in a private message to someone or you can share it with all your friends. Very cool. Got it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so, hello. When it comes up, it's got the last fish saved. I just hit the reset button. That zeroes out the scale for me. Hook the fish on, just holding there for a second. Major League Fishing, size 1.27, Cuccinello, score tracker update. It's in last place. That's it, put the fish back in the water. If I wanted to take a picture, I'd take a picture. That's fish number two. Put calling rope number two on, throw her in a live well. Grabbed it and he just got it, now he got her. So. So no giant, but a nice uh, post spawn. I'm gonna take my connect scale out real quick. I'm gonna clear the last fish out by hitting the reset button. Zeroes out the scale. Put this one on it. 280. Sends it over to my phone, it's all locked in. Put this fish right back in the water. Now, I would have put the number three pin on that fish put it in the live well. I'm not putting them in the live well today. It's hot, sunny. So now you get the three fish, the different colors that are assigned to them, the associated colors. Now when I get to the fifth fish, this thing's gonna automatically tell me which color, or if I was using the number, that has to go. It says cull, you know, white, or it'll say cull number one or number five. And you can do up to 10 fish with this, which is the thing I liked about it the most. It got me most interested in this. Most of the culling systems are only doing seven fish, maybe eight. And out where I am, we do ten, they do have 10 fish limits for team tournaments. So having a 10 fish culling system is key. All right, let's get out and get another one. So this, this is our sixth fish. And we're gonna go ahead and 
I'm gonna reset it again. Get this fish on the scale. Locked it in at 246, another two and a half pounder, and it's gonna tell me which fish to call. So it shows me here, I'm gonna keep it, I gotta call the green tag. So I go on my live well, take out the fish with the green tag, throw them over the side, put the green tag in this one, and this one goes in the live well, and that's how you call. Ah, oh, I got another one. <laughs> the very next cast. So, this one's gonna be a keep and call deal. It's gonna tell me to call that 141. So 275, a little bit better, a little nicer one. They're all skinny, but they're starting to feed up. Tells me to call the red tag. I, it doesn't get any easier, this. So all I gotta do is I hit keep and tag, it's done. And uh, that's it, did all the calling work for me. I don't have to guess. I don't have to worry about making a mistake. Nice. So we've had a lot of time to test out the Connect scale. Um, used it in both fun formats and tournament formats. Actually took it away with me on a couple of fishing tournament trips that I was on. And uh, a couple of things I gotta say about it right off the bat, the social aspect is pretty cool. To have an app that can capture all that data and then give you at the touch of a button, the ability to share that on Facebook or Twitter or with your friends, you know, I think that's great. Uh, keeping that fishing log, another plus, you know, it's just good to know, hey, where did I get that fish? You know, even in practice, we caught a couple fish, I could go back in and be like, I know exactly where we caught it because I got the GPS location locked in. So that was pretty cool. Um, something new came up since we started this review. Uh, we found out that the Connect Scale actually now is integrated with the Fat Sack app. And the Fat Sack app will allow you to run virtual tournaments and do some other social sharing as well. So if you like that app, you can now use that with the Connect Scale. Check it out. A couple things I got to point out with the Connect Scale. Um, you know, I didn't think about this when I first took it out, but my phone's not waterproof. I know they're making phones now that are waterproof, but mine isn't. So uh, two days on Champlain, I was out there. We had really heavy rains and uh, I didn't have a waterproof case. So for seven or eight bucks, I recommend go out, pick up one of these waterproof cases. It's just gonna make it so that you don't have to worry about rain being a factor for you. The scale itself is water resistant, but it's not 100% waterproof. So don't just leave it laying on the floor in the boat where you could pool up with water and potentially damage your scale, okay? Another thing I found very helpful was the fish grip. A lot of guys are getting, uh, getting these now. And if you watch Major League Fishing, that's all this is. It's just like a plastic channel lock that lets you clamp on to the bottom jaw of a fish and then you can weigh them without them wiggling and falling off. I've seen guys even, you know, remove the hook and connect them with an O-ring and different things right to the scale itself. There is a, a clip through the back here. It'll actually hang on pretty easy though. You don't need it. And you can tear the weight of this right from the scale so that it zeroes out. You don't have to worry about this being added to the weight of your fish. So definitely recommend using one of these. It'll make your culling experience a little bit more easy. Um, one thing you got to point out, Connect Scale knows this. I mean, they told me right out the gate. You know, they tell you in the uh, instructions manual. They have uh, a bit of a problem with the longevity of the batteries. It uses two AAA batteries, but it does draw against the battery. So you need to make sure that you take the batteries out in between uses. Yes, it's a little bit of an inconvenience, but you know what? That's a small trade-off when you think about what this thing can actually do. Connecting to an app, capturing your GPS location, recording the weight of your fish, air temp, your water temps. I mean, it's really, it's really a simple trade-off. So keep a couple extra sets of batteries in the boat. When you finish using it, take the batteries out, put them in a Ziploc bag, store them with your Connect scale. So that's it, guys. I'm Brendan C. from BassinUSA.com. As always, be sure to like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on Twitter and YouTube, and uh, hope you have a great time using the Connect scale. If you do decide to buy one, Make sure you go to their website, connectscale.com, and put in the code BASSINUSA, and you're going to get a discount on your scale. Thanks for watching. Thanks.